Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and another witchy bit of content for you. This is a cosy one this time and it's a little sneak peek of my uh, my fairly recent book of shadows here. Not quite ready for show and tell yet but that's a, that's a video for another day I think. So yeah, get cosy, get a cup of tea, get some biscuits, go sit by a fire in the rain. <laughs> This is my Mabon page that I'm doing. This is how I celebrated Mabon this year, by making this page. So I've already done a few things. I've already done a little painting. That's me setting up my witchcraft uh, Spotify playlist. Got to have music on while I'm doing these things. <laughs> anyway, I've made this so far, a nice little tag on it which I thought was a genius idea and then on the back of this I'm just writing whatever my intuitive brain tells me to write at the time it kind of ended up being half poem and half quotes and half just gibberish but I'm cool with that <laughs> I'm fine with that I think what, what did I put let me see I've got my book out with me right now it says, The Harvest Moon in Golden Glow, Mark Mabon's Night Where Shadows Grow. See, I told you it was a poem. With apples ripe and leaves that fall, we bless the earth, we heed her call. Between the worlds, the magic flows as the summer grows. Goes, rather. See, I told you it was a bit of gibberish. <laughs> but anyway, I've had to speed up the footage because it took me about, I don't know, five hours. <laughs> it takes me a long time to do anything, so definitely had to speed this one up. And I always write everything out in pencil first, because I'm a perfectionist and I have to get everything right. And then I can go in with a nice black pen and write over the top of it afterwards. So you'll probably see me do that right now, I'm guessing. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it is. <laughs> My nice curly loop-de-loop -loop handwriting there. I always hated my handwriting, but I've got this new style of handwriting now, where everything's just so loop-de-loop. Anyway, what do you guys do for Maybon? Do you guys celebrate it? Or do, is it one of those that you don't celebrate? Some of them I do, and then some of them I don't. And this one kind of... I always think of the word gratitude when this one shows up. And harvest. That, that word as well shows up a lot. Harvest. It's like the second harvest. Anyway, yes, yeah, so I've got a, this is the first time in the book that I've started painting and I wasn't sure at first because I can't really paint very well, I'm not a good painter, I'm more of a drawer than a painter and also the colours are very bright and vivid and I'm a bit more of a, a dark palette kind of person. And I want my book to look old as well, because I love old things. So yeah, this is me thinking this is just, it needs more, because enough is never enough for me. So I go in with my metallic gold pen and do this like border thing at the top. And then I've drawn some little leaves by the side of it and then like and then like that's not enough that's still not enough so i'm going to i'm going to decorate the top part there because clearly clearly it's not full enough and i need to have even more things <laughs> and then i come in with my absolute favorite pen that i have which is a silver metallic i'm obsessed with this pen i use it all the time you can see how bright and shiny it is just 
I'm even showing it off for the camera. I'm like, look at this. So shiny. <laughs> right, now what do I do? Oh yeah, I'm still like, no, that's still not, it's still not done. It's still not finished. I still don't like it. I'm adding even more to it. I'm going to make the border even bigger with the, the gold again. Gold and silver is sort of my my colour choice at the moment. Gold and silver. But yeah, I, I was really quite happy with the tag idea that I had. I was just thinking how can I like add more to the page and then also have all the space that I need to write about Maybon. And then I was like, well, why don't I just hang something off of the page so that I can have some quotes as well as the main event. And it worked out really well. The tag on the front actually says a very lovely quote. I don't know who, who made the quote, but it says, Autumn exists to remind us that things must end to begin again and I love that and a stag that was from a Christmas card I saved that one because I knew I would need it at some point and I do love a good stag if you watch my Book of Shadows tour video which a lot of people have been watching <laughs> while, while I'm writing away in the background there I just want to take a second to say, wow, thank you. <laughs> thank you, everybody, because I think the video, uh, my Book of Shadows tour video that I uploaded, I think we've just got over 1,000 views already. For me, that's insane. And then it's got, like, so many likes, and there's been a steady little trickle of subscribers just, just slowly slowly building up in the background and I've just sort of been sat there looking at it going oh wow <laughs> did not expect that did not expect that reaction to that video I'm so glad that I made that video now because because I, I, I adore watching other people make book of shadows stuff like tour guides of complete books and then what I'm doing right now sort of making a page i love all that kind of stuff so i wanted to contribute to the algorithm <laughs> and the algorithm's done its job definitely because i've got yeah so much attention for that video so i'm so happy it just means so much to me just yeah so much because um i'm stuck in the house like pretty much all day every day because of my chronic illness and all that um, so the only way I can express myself is through my creativity and the fact that I've put it out there and shown people which you know some people would keep it private but I was like nah I'm gonna I'm gonna show it to everybody because I really like it and I think people will like it as well and you do you do like it. You love me. You really love me. So yeah. I'm just, yeah. I'm overwhelmed. Thank you so much. Back to the, back to the thing. <laughs> gratitude, hey, gratitude. That's a thing. For this time of year. And it's, yeah, the, the, the end of the year. It's especially the like winter months and Christmas and all that, Yule. It's like, it's always a weird time of the year for me. Because I'm always thinking about how much my life has changed since like 10 years ago. It's been 10 very long, very difficult years. And witchcraft kind of came in and really I found faith I found faith again um, my, with my chronic illness I lost all of my faith I just didn't have any anymore I just had nothing really to be honest and then suddenly one one tarot card deck 
and that was it the floodgates opened and the next thing I knew I was just absolutely obsessed and dedicated to this new way of life and yeah I found my faith again so really I do have a lot to be grateful for when it comes to witchcraft it's like on a spiritual level it's really done wonders for me and it's also helped my creativity too it's given me a reason to get creative again because I wanted to be a graphic designer back in the day and literally got my degree in graphic design and then not long after that everything went wrong and I haven't been able to work or do anything since so starting this whole YouTube journey has been quite quite a thing <laughs> quite a big ordeal for me behind the scenes it's not as easy as it looks but I'm grateful for that and I think I'll definitely keep doing it as long as I can for sure I've got stuff planned for, for Samhain already. I've got stuff in the works, some spooky things. It's going to be good, I think. Anyway, so that took me forever, didn't it? So yes, I wrote in black pen. This is a passage that I found. So this is not my, my personal take on Mayburn. It's someone else's. I saw it on Pinterest and I was like, I love it. I'm going to use it. And then here's me. Look at that pendulum that I use as a bookmark. What a genius idea that is. <laughs> right, so like halfway through, I stop and I realise, hang on a minute. I haven't done apples. Apples. That's the one thing everyone talks about when they think of Mabin. They think apples. Apples is like such a big symbol for this for this Sabbath. So I was like, oh my god, I must paint some apples and include them somehow. So yeah, this is me. I've got my little acrylic paints out from good old WH Smith. I've got my brush out, which is like over 10 years old, probably more than that. And I'm slowly designing some apples. And then I put way too much paint out. Isn't that annoying? Isn't that the most annoying thing? You always think you need more paint than you actually do, like all the time. But yes, I'm painting the apple bright red. Like I said earlier, this was a bit out of my comfort zone because it was just so bright. The colors are so vivid and it's just not very me. But I was being spontaneous. I was trying something out and seeing if I liked and I do and yeah another shade of red almost orange that's what I mean by bright colors you can like this is sped up like a lot and yet it's still painfully slow I have to do everything at a snail's pace, you see. So there was no way I, I would be able to just do it and talk all the way through, like, in real time. That would be terrible. That would be the longest, most boring video ever made, if I did that. Painting the leaves green. Not the most accurate shaped leaves in the world, but never mind. <laughs> it does the job, it's fine. A little bit of brown there for the stems. <laughs> I 
I'm glad I didn't drink that water afterwards by accident. That's another thing that's like really annoying. Just go take a drink and you're like, oh god, that's the paint water. Anyway, so I cut it out. I cut my apples out. And then that's me trying to dry it because I'm impatient like that. I then grab a book that I have which is for scrapbooking and it's just like a vintage style grimoire old paper book. Just got it off Amazon. It's just got all sorts of random bits and bats. And then I found this strip of red and I thought yeah sure red we're going for that kind of red vibe this time so I'm gonna do something with this. And I decide that I want to place it at the bottom of the page. Because like I said before, enough is never enough with me. I always have to add more. So I painstakingly cut it out. As slow as a snail. <laughs> and then I don't want to waste the other bits. So I'm like, I wonder if I can put... A little bit extra on the other side of the page too like underneath the tag with the apples on top like that and I was like yeah I like that I like this idea so I cut it in half and then I decide I'm putting these two halves at the bottom like that and I'll make it work it'll be fine I won't regret it I get my faithful roll-on sticky tape thing. That's a lifesaver, that thing. I love it. It's so satisfying. Sticking these things down is so satisfying. And then I do the other bit here. And it's a little bit lopsided. And I'll never be able to let that down. I will never unsee it. I hate it. I hate that piece. I hate that piece of paper, and I wish I never did it. <laughs> I'm such a perfectionist. I hate it. Anyway, back to the apples. I get another pen out. This one's more of a paint type pen. It's one of those draw on everything type pens. So you can draw on wood, you can draw on everything. And then I do what I did with the two leaves that I painted, and I do a nice little outline. Nice little outline around them. And then I think I rip the paper. Yep, I do. <laughs> dry it first, dry it first. And then, yeah, another thing I like to do a lot is just rip paper. Because, I don't know, I like, even though I'm a perfectionist, I really like the the imperfection uh, the not perfect look of just ripping paper and then using whatever you end up with in the pages that you make so i'm trying my best not to completely destroy the image that i've just painted <laughs> and there look at that perfect it fits in perfectly it's almost as if i planned it all which is not true. I kind of, I just do whatever comes to mind at the time. I don't plan any of this at all. It's very, very spontaneous. There you go. Look at that. Perfect. Lovely. Good job, me. And then to match the other two, I come back in with the gold and I do like a little shadow effect with the gold metallic pen. It doesn't translate very well on camera, but in real life, they're super shiny. And like in different light, they look so cool. Like I said, I'm obsessed with the gold and silver pens at the moment. And then <laughs> I'm like, nope, it's still not enough. The red strip is not enough. I'm going to come in and do a pattern on it with the silver pen. Because I'm obsessed. 
and an effort is just not enough so yeah and I'm like even though you're lopsided and I hate you I'm still going to continue the pattern on this side <laughs> Super shiny, super nice. I still hate that strip though, with a vengeance. <laughs> and then I imagine I get back to writing the rest of this passage that I found. It's uh, from a person called Abby Willowroot. And I just was reading it and I thought, that is a lovely way to explain this time of year and explain what Mabon is it's just such a it's just such a nice just such a nice thing and I was like I couldn't be bothered to write my own thing so I just took someone else's and you know what you can do that <laughs> if there's one thing I've learnt with making grimoires and book of shadows and well, with witchcraft in general, it's like, it's fine if you take other people's stuff. As long as you don't then go sell it and say it's your own, then fine, you know. Because this is my personal book, so I'm allowed to take people's quotes and, um, you know, just get inspiration from other people. There's no shame in that. I think I might do... I'm going to try and do a setup for every single Sabbath in this book, but I don't know whether I'll stick to the same layout or theme. I might totally just do... Like, I'm trying to think what I'm going to do for like the Samhain one. I might make that totally different, like it's all like dark just dark and spooky, maybe gothic vibes or something like that. But Maybomb just felt like it had to be very kind of cottage core, kind of have warm tones to it. And kind of floral vibes and just, yeah. Lots of reds, lots of orange. I have lots and lots and lots of scrap paper, just like so much. Just loads of like scrapbooking style paper, stickers, different types of paper, stamps, you name it, I've got it. All those years at art college, I've gathered a, a lot of stuff. So yeah, this is me slowly getting to the end. And I bet you're probably thinking, why? Why do you do it twice? Why do you write in pencil and then do it again in pen? Because you're taking twice the time to make things. And I'm like, first of all, it's because I'm a perfectionist. But then second of all, I actually think it's better that way. Because I kind of feel like because I'm doing it again, I'm taking in every word like so much more it's kind of like when you do like when you say like an invocation or a prayer or like you say something three times in like or, or like a chant it's like you're you're adding more intention into it by writing it again it's giving it even more power so yeah, I see it like that as well. You can see I've credited the person at the end there as well. Put their name down. And off I go again with the black pen. <laughs> I do love my my curly whirlies <laughs> on my on my words. And don't worry, that's a fake candle that's going on that top left corner. That ain't a real candle. Don't panic. 
I'm not going to be doing this in front of an open flame. I'm not an idiot. Well, at least not fully. <laughs> what else can I say? This is more like a podcast. This is like a this is like a weird podcast because I'm not doing it. I'm just talking to footage instead. What else can I talk about? Oh yeah, yeah, altar tour. Mhm. Mm Definitely going to do an altar tour for you. Absolutely. I mean, that's going to take quite some doing cuz I'm not going to lie, there's a lot of stuff. Um, I'm one of those people, I'm one of those people where I've just got so, so many things, so many things. I have a whole area dedicated to it, which I call my sacred space. And then it's got my altar, well, two or three altars really. And I'm going to try and do a video on that as well. Which, yeah, that's going to take quite some doing. I might even have to do that in parts because there's so much stuff. And I'd like to talk about, you know, like, even though there's so much stuff, it's still organised chaos after all. It's like every single thing actually does have meaning and purpose and it brings me something. It's not just there to look nice. I mean, obviously it looks nice, it looks amazing, but at the same time, everything has a purpose and a meaning to me so I would like to talk about stuff in detail so yeah I've definitely got some videos planned for you I thought I'd do a cozy one first you know just a cozy one something you can put on in the background <laughs> There we go. There you see, and then you've got the tag. And then it doesn't really get in the way that much. It looks good. There's me showing it all off. <laughs> and I still do more, by the way. Like, the video actually ends when I think it's over, but I actually go back to it, like, a day later. And I add even more to it. I end up adding like a, a stamp of a leaf and then I end up adding uh, some stickers, uh, well more stickers because I think I actually end up adding stickers even here, but I actually add even more. Ah, I remember this, right yeah, so I go and I get another quote and again I've forgotten who like who actually said this but it says and the sun took a step back and autumn was awakened and i just really liked it so i thought yeah because this is lopsided and i don't like it i'm gonna put a little quote underneath it just to kind of fill in that extra space that i didn't like and then i think i put a symbol in that like bottom right corner but not in this video. I went back and I put like a symbol, like a kind of like a sigil type thing. <laughs> it's like, yeah, everything I do is organized chaos. That's how I like to explain it, organized chaos. No blank space can be blank. Everything must be full. Yeah, here we are my sticker set I've got all sorts of stickers and that bag is just one bag of many bags but you can see me shuffling through I just I found these randomly at TK Maxx and I was like yep you're coming home with me <laughs> so I find a couple that I like and then I go into my main collection which to be honest, it's mostly mushrooms. It's mostly mushrooms and butterflies and flowers. And there's there's not a lot else. I just have endless stickers of mushrooms, butterflies and flowers. 
and there's only so much of that you can have in one book so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find more eventually but I find this sticker here and I just the red berry things just popped out to me and I was like definitely running with the red theme for sure and then I thought I'll just put it on that blank space up there and then cut it to fit and then the rest of it just about fit in there covers up a bit of the text but again I kind of like that I kind of like that sometimes I like being not perfect believe it or not <laughs> and then I had a couple of stickers from there in mind as well yeah this one here I like that one and it says, uh, what does it say? Beauty is everywhere. Yeah, beauty is everywhere. So I put that in that blank space. And then I tried with all my might to get those stickers off. They're so difficult. And then put that one there. Again, very satisfying. And you can see it's coming together very nicely now. We're on the home stretch, people. <laughs> We're getting there. So yeah, there we go. Put some stickers on and we're good. There's my quote, there's my other quote. And I think that's about... Oh no, no, it isn't, it isn't. No, no, there's more, there's more. <laughs> the silver pen is back <laughs> I had to do two random lines above and below and I went back and did even more by the way that you don't see in this video I ended up using a white gel pen and like doing little designs on just everything I made all of the um, the pencil leaves on the tag and I turned them white instead and it looks quite nice actually it works so yes I put the word um, thankful because that was another key word for this time of year thankful gratitude being thankful and surely that's it now. My hands are suggesting that's it now. Yes, it, that's it. There we go. Pendulum bookmark and a little sneak peek of what my current Book of Shadows looks like. It's very cool. Very old. Thank you for watching this and I'll see you in the next one.